Welcome back and thank you so much for joining me. We are looking at equivalent number sentences. Now, we are um, going to think about the word equivalent. The word equivalent means the same. So, the sign in maths for things to be the same or equal is the equal sign. So, it's just like any equation. If I've got 2 plus 2 on one side, the other side must be 4 because they equal. So, when we're thinking about solving the unknown in that equivalent number sentence, it could just be 2 plus... 2 plus 1 equals 6, 4. That is a number sentence. But both sides are the same now. It gets harder though, especially when we could say... So the first thing, I'm going to rub out the top one. So the first thing we need to be thinking about is solving one side and then worrying about the other. 2 plus 8 equal, equals 10. Okay. <clears throat> Remember our addition and subtraction. Something takes 6 e equals 10. Hmm. So that means we are needing to add these two together. 6 plus 10 equals 16. Because 6 plus 10 is the same as me saying 16 takes 6 equals 10, which is the same as what my other um, side is. Let's use this triangle to help us solve another one. How about if I go 7 take away 3 equals 1 plus what? Okay, the first thing I need to be thinking about is solving this side first. 7 take 3 equals 4. 1 plus 1 equals 4. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Let's go back and do another subtraction 1. 13 plus 5 is the same as me saying... 7 take 4. First thing I need to do is solve this side. 13 plus 5 equals 17, so 18, so I'm going to rewrite that 18 equals something, take 4. Now, if I, I'm going to do my triangle, remember, if to get, get the original, I need to add what I've taken to my answer, so 4 and 18, and that will give me my answer, what I, oh, the missing number. So 4 plus 18 equals 22, because 22 take 4 equals 18, and 22 take 18 equals 4. So the answer must be 22. So I put that in the wrong area. 22. I hope hopefully that helps you understand equivalent number sentences. If you need any extra help, message me and I'll make a video for you.